I, I couldn't bring myself to not listen to this glorious track one more time. <laughs> now, uh, I must say we are, well, obviously going to take a look at uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion today. And unfortunately, I never played this title for the simple reason. Uh, its requirements were pretty much ridiculous back in the day when it comes to it. Uh, you might uh, laugh about it, uh, saying, hey, you know what, I mean, it, it's almost the same as Morrowind, but it's actually not really. So let's just go through the requirements real quick. So what it wants is 128 megabytes of Direct 3D compatible video card, which is NVIDIA GeForce 6800 Plus. Now, the thing about Oblivion is it actually is pretty well made game, uh, apart from all the bugs and stuff. But at the same time, to be completely fair, I must say I've played just a little bit just now and I'm gonna show you why this game is actually so good, even in 2021. I mean, if you liked Skyrim, you will definitely like Oblivion. If you didn't like Skyrim, well, then I think you're still gonna like Oblivion. Uh, you don't need a lot of hardware for 2021 to run it, but uh, back in the day when the main operating system was XP, 128 megabytes of video memory I mean, the gamers were running 64 megs. That was like, you know, a lot. And this one wanted 128 with direct draw. And the reason why, because Nvidia actually pushed the new physics engine out uh, into this game as a support. So technically all the chains had their own separate pieces that were not scripted to move. Uh, objects had mass and weight and, you know, you actually started having things in it. So, it was one of the cool things. Now, since we are in 2021, we gonna play this bad boy at 4040p and everything maxed out as much as I can. Uh, I could actually do the MSI Afterburner just to show you how it all looks, but to be completely fair, we are hitting 300 frames at all times and GPU usage is about... 15% so I mean you can run this game on potato in 2021. I mean literally uh, It's there's nothing taxing about this title So let's just uh, go and take a look where I ended up here uh, I still haven't done the tutorial right and uh, first off there is no mods I haven't modded this game at all now look at this Amazing quality look how the sword looks look how the lightning follows this fucking charm symbol on, on the sword itself. I mean, you would be hard pressed to say that, you know, this is old title. Cause God damn, it, it actually looks pretty decent. And maybe it's because of the 4040p. Uh, I don't know, hard to say, but uh, yeah, that, that might be a bit of a, a struggle here uh, of killing a lot of things. Anyway, that's not the point. Let's push on. Rusty Iron War Axe, perfect. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like tutorial level, but what I want to show you is... Yeah, yeah, I need to... Ah! Fucking rats. Honestly, you go you're gonna hate these fucking bitches, like, in general. Uh, I need to... I need to equip the bow, which is the one thing I'm actually gonna do. So, so, as you can see, it, uh, the game actually gives me an option. Practice with your bow, the bucket near the well will make a good target, right? Now, before we do that, take a look at this. It's the bucket with a rope, right? I'm gonna aim for the lower part of the bucket. So, not only the bucket is moving, as you can see, it was literally flinged away. It's actually kind of weighted down by the arrow. So if I retrieve the arrow, it's going to straighten up. This was the big thing about this game and the physics engine behind it. Because before this, it... Uh, where is the shield? Perfect. Shield and shit. That's what you need here. So yeah, uh, even though I never played this game, I must say, if you played Skyrim, this kind of is very simple. The menu down there kind of looks like Morrowind, give or take, uh, like all this stuff that you can choose. 
And Skyrim obviously looks much more fancy and shit, but uh, that's not the point. Now, I do need to actually go and uh, well finish the goddamn tutorial. Because uh, this is gonna... This is gonna be very... Very, very long uh, since I never played it, so I kinda need to figure out what the fuck am I doing here. Uh, there you fucking go. Okay, perfect. And once I finish this tutorial, we're gonna take a look of uh, how the world outside of this dungeon looks like. And I'm gonna put on some MSI stats as well. We're gonna go over on how much this game actually takes it, and I might actually come back in 4K, you know? You never know. So. Just give me a sec, boys. I'll be right back. So here we finally are, and uh, I kind of managed to get out of the tutorial, which is basically the sewers. Pretty fucking long and annoying thingy. This is how I look now. Uh, we have, well, sword with the same thingy, a shield, uh, bow and arrows, and we killed pretty much a lot of goblins. It actually kind of feels like you're a goblin slayer at some point. And apparently a king just died or got killed and we need to go and do our first quest, whatever. So, before we do that, let's just take a look how all this looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty simple, I would say, kind of like one of the first engines we've seen. But uh, at the same time, 300 frames, again, we are on 40, 40p. It's kind of pointless to, to play this game on uh, 4k, to be completely honest with you. There's not that much difference in it. Uh, of course, I, I tried to do it, and uh, let, let me just uh, quickly show you like what's the actual difference or no differences here. So, and uh, yeah, just just in case you didn't notice. Now, so we are running 4K now. Like, like no joke, this, 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 this is it. <laughs> as you can see, we are running uh, 4K, everything maxed out as much as I can max out. And I, w I wouldn't say that, you know, it looks any different. Like quite, quite literally, I, I would say that the details on some of the things maybe look a bit better, but end of the day, um, this is nothing really, you know, to, to write home about. And yeah, I must say it's not exactly, you know, unexpected to, to, to see the requirements of this game and how it runs, but at the same time, I can understand why people were very happy about this game. Oh. Who are you, sir? This ends here. Okay. If, if you say so that it ends here, it's gonna end here. Poor Khajiit. E Nothing of value. <coughs> Okay, I don't like people who are attacking me with uh, arrows from a distance. W look at this asshole. And I have to like fucking heal and shit. Which, which you probably <laughs> remember these uh, animations. Uh, like how you heal and stuff. So yeah, again, uh, this is just uh, just your e everyday regular stuff that uh, you're gonna be doing in this game. Just looting, selling, doing quests. So... Perfect, now I can uh, heal up fully and go for my quests and whatnot. And yeah, but basically that's that's how it goes. So either way, I would say definitely if you never played this game, go and play. Relive that good old memories with a uh, decent hardware in 2021, and you know that's basically 
All there is. And you'll see why this game was very popular. You'll see. You'll see. Yes, this is the tower you can see from Skyrim as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and hey, catch you next time, you absolute legends.